And taking you live outside to a wet but very festive head house square. The decorations are up. A little damp though right now. Larissa over the big screen with the forecast. And there's Christmas decorations all over our newsroom as well. I don't know if you noticed that this morning, but it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I couldn't wait to say that. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the good news. Of course, we have Thanksgiving for the rest of the week or Thanksgiving on Thursday. And we also have a couple other festivities that I'm sure a lot of people are looking forward to. We'll get to that in a moment. But your next several hours look like this. It's rainy and damp outside right now. Take that umbrella with you. Here's the good news. By 9 a.m. 11 a.m. We're talking drier conditions across the region. Those clouds stick around for the rest of the morning, but toward the afternoon, clouds will begin to break for sun. And right before sunset, we should see some sunshine. We're calling it partly cloudy skies, but will be turning clear as we head towards tonight. Temperatures eventually top out near 50 degrees. Quick peek at this Thanksgiving travel because a lot of folks will be heading out. Whether you're hitting the roads or you're traveling by air, the good news about Wednesday is that we are dry. A bit breezy, especially in the morning. The winds do diminish as we approach lunchtime right around noon. And then it just turns sunny and chilly for the afternoon hours, clearing skies here as we approach Wednesday night. And hopefully you get to your destination safely for Thursday. Thursday is going to be beautiful from start to finish, whether you're heading out to enjoy the parade or you're having dinner by the evening hours or afternoon hours. Temperatures will be in the 50s under mostly sunny skies, pleasant conditions. I know a lot of people, they eat, they watch football, and then they eat again. <laughs> so seven day forecast looks like this. Monday today, just morning showers. We will be breaking those clouds for some sun later on today. I don't know if we'll physically be breaking them, but those clouds will break. By Tuesday, we are windy and raw with highs only in the low 40s. By Wednesday, we're at 47. On Thursday, Thanksgiving, we're looking good. Friday, 49. The weekend's also dry. Temps in the 40s. Larissa, you know my strategy. You eat, take a break, and then go back for seconds and <laughs> thirds and fourths if necessary. Exactly. That's what I'm going to do, Janelle. <laughs> Me too. All right, Larissa, thank you. Six